There are a lot of strong feelings about this, obviously, not just because of the governor's response, but also because of what that photo represents. Michael Quander has that part of the story. Now, whether you believe Governor Ralph Northam is one of the people in this picture or not, it's images like this that are reminders of our country's painful past and spark conversations of just how far we still must go. Some white people started dressing up in blackface in the early 1800s to mock African slaves in America. The caricatures often portrayed black people as lazy or uneducated. Decades later, in 1866, the Ku Klux Klan, or KKK, was formed to fight against equal civil rights for African Americans. The Klan was known for violent attacks to intimidate black folks, including lynchings, tar and featherings, and rapes. This is our history. This is who we are as Americans, and some of it's ugly. Ethelbert Miller is a literary activist and African American studies scholar. He understands why this picture in Virginia Governor Ralph Northam's yearbook got some people fired up. We just can't look at them as images because we know these are images of violence. Now, while Northam has since denied being one of the people in this photo, the governor admitted being in blackface before, but says he later realized he was wrong. I'm not going to condemn somebody on one thing. If I see it consistent with a list of other sins, then I, I, I can say that. You know, it's a different time period, but it says it's still the same crime, you know? As things have to be held, people have to be held accountable for their behavior. Because if we don't learn from our history, we may be doomed to repeat it. In Northern Virginia, Michael Quander, WUSA 9.